Welcome back to Punk Rock Radar Blind Band Reviews Episode 3. Let's sit back, hold tight, and kick this off. All right, John, we're back in it. Episode 3, Blind Band Reviews, and I can't wait to jump into this one. So far, the bands have been great. Before we get into this, I want to give a big shout out to Blue Light Tapes. If you don't know, well, you're going to know now. Blue Light Tapes, your place to go to get any of your music put on cassette. They are awesome. They're sponsoring this. The winner of the Blind Band Review Season 2 will get 25 cassette tapes made for free by Blue Light Tapes. We also want to give a big shout out to Manicat Records. So again, Manicat Records is a big record label in the East Coast, signing all those punk, pop punk, and hardcore bands right now. So the winner of the contest is going to get a sit down and they're going to be able to speak with Manicat Records and you never know what's going to happen. And finally, big shout out to our boy, Jordan Sweeney, donating $500 and we're divvying that up. So the winner of season two is going to get $100 cash money. So with that being said, John, let's jump right into the first band. And I think we have Deaf Dazed up first. Yeah, we've got Deaf Days up first, but guys, make sure you check out Jordan Sweeney Music. I'll leave a link to his stuff mm -hmm. uh, below. Check out all the sponsors. They'll be below. Uh, but Matt, let's take a look at this first band here, Deaf Days. Uh, it's very yeah. minimal. It looks like there's only nine pictures here. Uh, mm -hmm. From this, I I'm not getting a lie. I, I don't really know what to expect. What about you? Yeah, I see kind of like an anime picture. I see a moon. Someone mm -hmm. with a man bun, it looks like, and a beard. Some long hair. I don't know, man. I think this can be pretty interesting. I think this may be up my alley. So you're thinking like some country folk style that you like? I hope. Yeah, man. I hope. I hope. All right. Well, I cheated a little bit, and I got their video ready uh, before, okay. and I'm noticing I didn't play it, but I got it pulled up. And if you look at the CDs there, there's Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, and three Nirvana three, albums. Oh, three Nirvana albums. Oh yeah. I'm not I'm sure. Sorry. I'm not sure what this first or the second one is here, uh, in between Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. But I'm assuming it's going to be a grunge record. I think it's pretty yeah. safe to say. Yeah, I'm trying to make it out right now. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. Maybe okay, Stone. So maybe Stone Temple Pilots or something. Or oh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that that would fit in that you know, genre, <laughs> that era right there. Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, I think all those bands are from Seattle, though, and I don't think Stone Temple Pilots is. So maybe this is a Seattle band. Uh, maybe they just like grunge. But, Matt, anything else you want to say before we kick off this first band and their song, Eeny Meeny? No, man, I'm ready to uh, catch a tiger by the toe and get right into this. All right, here we go, guys. This is Deaf Days. All right, Matt, let me hear your thoughts on Deaf Days. Yeah, man, that was pretty good. The only thing I would have to say is I wish the vocals were turned up more or the music turned down a little bit so I can hear uh, the singer a little bit better. That's my only critique right there. But besides that, it was pretty good, man. How about you? Yeah, I think I think maybe that's intentional because there was like a 
in that minute 30 clip we had like a 30 40 second guitar solo in there yeah yeah uh yeah it's it's pretty good i thought like the rhythm part was maybe a little repetitive it was kind of that same riff almost the whole song but Mm -hmm. it wasn't bad like i like things when it's a little faster i'm actually surprised it wasn't more grunge uh forward since those cds we saw it was kind of more like alternative rock or like maybe like a little bit of stoner rock uh style but yeah man overall it wasn't bad uh, it's something new, something we haven't heard a lot in this style on the show, so I'm always glad to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. So that was always something, like you said, when something's new, it's great to hear, you know, some new styles of music to kind of change it up. So, but yeah, that was uh, Deaf Days and Eeny Meeny. All right, guys, and if you want to vote for Deaf Days, uh, make sure and click the straw poll link in the description so they can move on to the next round. All right, Matt, our next band up I, I am familiar with. This is a band I featured in a New Music Friday uh, back in February. It's Trauma Sars. Uh, they're from Denver, Colorado. And from what I remember, it was kind of like a Lawrence Arms, like Midwest vibe. Uh, but okay. ba- based on what you see, what are you, what are you thinking? Just forget I just said that. I don't know why I told you and then asked you. Uh, well, but- <laughs> uh, if I didn't hear what you said and I was looking at this, I would say maybe a ska band just because of that black and white photo with them in suits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Th- this logo is kind of like reggae ska st- uh, style too. Yeah. So I could be wrong, man. Y- you know, like every Friday I'm posting like 60, 70 bands. So I could be mm-hmm. getting it mixed up, but uh, that's what I believe I remember. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it looks good. Um, one of their pictures down there has me a little concerned if the drummer is playing drums on that setup right there. If you go back up a little bit, keep on going, keep on going right there. Down yeah. a little bit. Yeah. It looks like it's a homemade, uh, uh trash can drum set. So. Oh, I, th- I was looking at this one. I was like, what do you mean? It looks like a pretty normal drum set. <laughs> yeah, no. So if he's playing on that, we're going to have a problem. So, uh, I'm ready to kick it off and, uh, check these guys out. All right, so they sent us their band camp, and the song is called Tarnish. Um, Anything else you want to say before we kick it off? No, I'm ready. All right, this is Trauma Sars. The song is Tarnish off their self-titled album that came out in February. Here we go. All right, Matt, I stand by what I said before with the Lawrence Arms comparison. Uh, yeah. That's, what are you uh, thinking? Yeah, that's that reminds me of Lawrence Arms very much right there. It sounds like a big influence maybe. I don't know if the band likes Lawrence Arms, but that's a, uh, a band that sounds similar to them, which is uh, which is great. That's a great band, Lawrence Arms. So that's always a compliment, you know, if someone says, oh, they sound like Lawrence Arms. That's something mm. good. Um, also, I think in the band camp picture, the singer's wearing a Bronx t-shirt, which I totally love. So this band kind of rocks right there. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like this band. Yeah. Uh, this, this um, it may be one of my favorites we're going to hit this season because I, I did 
uh, handpicked this before for New Music Friday. So I'm definitely into these guys. Uh, this album's really solid. Go check it out, the full length. It's a lot of songs in this vein. Uh, Matt, do you consider Denver to be Midwest? Um, Denver. <laughs> Are you pulling up a map? <laughs> Uh, well, I know where Denver is, but like, is Denver Midwest? I don't think Denver is Midwest in my mind. It's just straight West. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what I was thinking. But we we get skewed over here on the East Coast. But uh, yeah, it for me, it's uh, Midwest punk from Colorado. It's it sounds like it's straight out of Chicago, and I really like it. Uh, Matt, anything else you want to say? No, so yeah, so Denver is not Midwest, John. Midwest ends with Dakotas, Nebraska, and Kansas. All right, so it's relatively close, but just straight up uh, <laughs> west side. All right, so guys, make sure you check out uh, Trauma SARS. Sar mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I'm butchering that word. If I am, I'm sorry. Uh, Trauma SARS. Yep. <laughs> uh, vote for them in the straw poll link below so they can move on to the next round. All right, John, the next band up is Hike the Peak. There are melodic and themic punk rock multi-country members. So I guess they have people across the globe in this band. Um, so we got their Instagram page pulled up. We're doing a little scrolling. We're going to check it out and see what they're all about. Yeah. So what do you I, think looking at this, John? I thought maybe the uh, mountains was just like the album art, but yeah, they must be somewhere up in the mountains writing these songs. And props to them for making that work uh two years ago last year i tried to you know do like a multi-location music mm -hmm. project i recorded all the guitars bass and drums and it just fell apart so props to these guys for actually doing it and i've posted this band before um i'm i can't remember what it sounds like but i remember i was into it so again not a true blind for me but matt you've never heard this before so what are you thinking um just straight i guess punk rock man mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna say uh just punk rock through and through see when i see like <laughs> snow and mountains and punk i my brain goes mill and colin <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't know yeah. uh i don't know if mill and colin had like a press photo or something along these lines but that's that's literally just what i think because i guess it's cold in sweden i don't really know i've never been there uh but um <laughs> Matt, we're going to play the song Mirror Image mm -hmm. off their EP4. And it's kind of neat. Like, there's looks like there's five EPs here, and they're just one, two, three, two, four, three. Yeah. five. Yeah. So they'll never lose track of which uh, release they're on, which would be helpful if we ever do a tier list uh, mm -hmm. for these guys. But, <laughs> Matt, anything else you want to say before we kick off Mirror Image? If they're watching this video, what was the highest peak they've climbed? That's what I'm curious. It is. Oh, they're from uh, Sheffield, UK, or at least some someone is. That's where our our buddy from Punk Bunker is from. So, oh, okay. some good people out there in Sheffield. Yeah. All right. So here we go. This song is going to be called "Mirror Image." It's by Hike the Peak.
All right, Matt, hike the peak. What did you think? Hey, man, that was pretty good. I, I, I'm feeling that. For some reason, I could be off with this, but the band that sticks out to me, maybe not so much with the yelling, but is Thrice. Uh, yeah. How the guitar sound and drum sound on this. Like maybe some older Thrice it reminds me of. Yeah, that's a good one. And Matt, I really, really like this one. This is like, mm -hmm. this is the style of punk I, I like the most. Like really fast, really aggressive, but it hits you with that catchy chorus. Like yeah. I think that's yeah. a hard style. Uh, to nail and you know bands like uh, the human project our darkest days uh, are bands that do that pretty well and that's kind of where i would lump these guys in uh if there's ever like a full length of this uh hike the peak let me know i would love to hear it i i love songs like this this is going to be one of my favorites of the season too i could tell already uh yeah but matt anything else you want to say yeah, no, it, it seems like Hike the Peak's kind of like a super band. I was reading their little bio on Spotify, and it's all the members are from different bands that got together during COVID to put an album together. So it's almost kind of like a super band with, you know, people from other bands and meshed into one band. And so that's pretty cool, you know? Yeah, that was awesome. I'll have to check yeah. out uh, more since there is five EPs here. So there's a lot mm -hmm. uh, to go through. But guys, if you want to vote for Hike the Peak, uh, make sure and hit the link down below in the straw poll. They can move on to the next round. We're going to do, this is part of the north bracket. We're going to do south and east-west, and then we'll have all the winners face off at the end. So if you want to vote for Hike the Peak, hit the link down below. All right, John. The next band up is Super Monster Party, and I'm already pumped just looking at their website. This is freaking awesome, man. Uh, retro, uh, I mean... The videos on here, the graphics on here are awesome. This is a great website. Um, so yeah, I, I'm I'm pumped just off this website they have for themselves. I I love this website. Like I, I'm going like back to our days of walking up and down the aisles at Video Source, you know, yep. mm -hmm. looking for a Genesis game to rent. This is badass. This is like everything I wanted uh <laughs> punkrockradar.com to be, but that never happened. So these guys absolutely have their shit together. Um, yeah, I am following them. I've heard uh, some of these songs before, but I have not heard uh, the song that we're listening to today. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, based on the website, based on this incredible Instagram page, what are you thinking? <laughs> so, you know, they're called Super Monster Party. So I'm going to say maybe they're kind of like that uh, horror punk, maybe kind of like horror pop punk kind of. Maybe kind of similar to um, the serial killers that we featured on here before. Maybe kind of like that style, because you know the serial killers are are in their I guess um, roles, and these guys may you know act their roles out too, like the serial killers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I, I've got I've got high hopes myself. I think I may have heard the last album, and this song, okay, uh, is from the newer one, and it's gonna be a music video mm -hmm. uh it's gonna be a it looks like a fan-made animation video for the song another castle uh and matt anything else you want to say before we kick this off no i'm i'm excited to see what this uh the video uh, is so i'm kind of pumped right now i'm excited too and i'm definitely going to subscribe to this channel because i feel like this mm -hmm. is going to be a lot of stuff i i'm into but here we go guys this is Another Castle by Super Monster Party. This is goodbye. I've used up my final life. I've jumped off the edge again. Through tunnels I see the light Could you be there waiting for me? Sorry she's gone, your princess is not
All right, Matt, what'd you think? It was uh, definitely different. I thought it was going to be maybe a little faster, but it's like, you know, uh, an old kind of school, like rock ballad, I feel like. Uh, kind of reminds me of similarity to Dragon Force, some of their songs. That's kind of like a ballad. Mm -hmm. um, I skipped around a little bit, too, towards the end. Uh, and they do have a pretty nice breakdown around the 2.30 mark, I do believe, in the song. Um, so, yeah, so it's pretty it's pretty good. I'm going to check out more of this. I am feeling this. I'm digging it. So uh, how about yourself? Yeah, it's, it's not anything like the uh, stuff I've heard from them before. It's usually, like, kind of, like, 80s uh, dream mm -hmm. theater style, like, uh, metal more but this I, I like it I, I can I can get down to some songs like this uh, the video is cool the theming's cool I'm a big retro gaming guy uh, Matt yeah. I think you are too so I love all like the imagery and everything this band's just cool there's just no other way to put it this band is really cool um, yeah. yeah it's definitely a band I, I would probably you know get some merch for because I'm all about like this stuff that they're doing mm -hmm. um so, guys, if you want to vote for Super Monster Party, that's the last one of the day, uh, hit the straw poll link in the description. Basically, this poll is going to be live for about seven days after the video airs, and then we'll pull the winner. We'll move them into the bracket for the North Division champion and go from there. Uh, Matt, anything else you want to say? We had some pretty solid bands today. It's going to be one of our best episodes, I think. Yeah, this is going to be a great episode. Um, thanks to all the bands that submitted stuff. And uh, if you didn't make it into season two, keep on submitting because we're going to do as many seasons as has many bands send their stuff in. So it's, uh, it's going to be a good time. All right, guys. So that was episode three. We're coming right back at you with episode four.